need to gather this stuff along the way because we need it for building. We're gathering a bunch of material while we can. If you find something in particular and you want to remember where it is, I'll show you what to do. You want to right click where your character is and put down what it might be. In this example, we're going to put resin. And you click it to make sure it's there. And your character arrow will be pointing in the direction that he or she is facing. So we're headed the right way. The elder should be up here somewhere. Because I need quite a few of the materials to live by. I have to check my map again. Still going the right way? Yes, good. Huh. And it's right by my tree. Isn't that lucky? I did not find this tree by myself. Quite a few of my friends that I play this game with were kind enough to help me find one. I get the feeling that he's on the other side. Butterflies. Oh, hello, grasshopper. Huh. Grasshoppers, for the most part, are friendly. But at night, you do not want to mess with them. Because at night, they are far from friendly. I have a feeling if I jump down from here, I'm going to... I was afraid of that.
I died again. And I lost all of my material. Which means, unfortunately, we're going to have to wait out night. When you die, your gravestone erects where you die. And if you're fast enough, you'll be able to gather your belongings from said gravestone. I don't want to travel at night. I'll see you guys again once it's daytime. It occurred to me that while we wait for daytime, since I am next to a fire, I can show you guys the combat. Your right trigger is your light attack, which is this. And your heavy attack is your right bumper, which is this one. Block is your left trigger. And your character will do this. And last but not least, and extremely important, dodge. Which in this case, since I'm on controller, huh. is the X button. Now, I've been told from those of my friends who are far better at combat than me, it's a little tricky to do. But since it's daytime now, we can go looking for the gravestone that I left the stuff behind it. And this is how you call your hot air lift, is what they call it. Yes. We wait. Ta da! Here we are, about to be on the ground again. Yeah.
This is a sapling. We need a flint hatchet for this. This is another thing I like about the game. If you find something you're curious about, and you're not sure what you need to use for it, the game will tell you. I should warn for those who have arachnophobia, like I do, that was a spider that just went by. But thanks to the arachnophobia slider, that the devs generously put into this game, we don't have to make it look like one. But that's at least a spider as it can look like. And knowing my luck, I have to go past the evil thing. Don't I? Yes, I do. Up, he's on the other side of this. Looks like we may have to go that way up. But along the way, we can gather a few more materials that we don't need. But our tools. Hello, Mr. Grasshopper. What a fine day. Again, this is another sapling. An interesting thing about the ladybug, though, is that if you can tame one, they provide extra inventory. But you do not want to attack them. Because it won't do you any good. It won't give you any. There's some more wood that we're going to gather up. You want to hold the Y button to be able to gather up things like wood. Never, and I repeat, never go out at night. Because if you do, the things around you are going to become more aggressive. And even if you're on peaceful mode, I wouldn't take the chance. I need this wood, please. Yep. 
Mr. Elder, where are you? Did I wander away? There's the mushroom forest down below my feet. And there's one of my gravestones right there. Hopefully it's the most recent one. Yes! All right. Better off now. Especially from where we were. I just have to remember to get down there. Or rather remember how to get down there because I need to get over there. Get over there from over here without falling on my face. That is a legitimate question. We can hopefully discover the answer to it. good. That's why I wanted to show you the antenna vision because it shows you what the potential enemy is weak to. And now that I have my hatchet back, when we find some mushrooms, We can chop them down. I'll see you guys back there once I found some mushrooms. Luckily, we didn't have to travel far, as you can see on the map. I found some mushrooms. So now I'm going to show you how to harvest. In case you missed one of the other episodes. Which is perfectly fine. Because if you have missed some episodes. I will leave a link to the full playlist down below. But I need to give you a warning first. The 
dreams I do with my friends are 18 plus. So if you're not, I highly recommend you wait until I've made a solo video on the subject. I appreciate your time. And now for the mushrooms. You want to harvest with your right trigger and you need a wooden hatchet to be able to strike them down. It's going to take quite a few hits, but eventually if you find the right spot it works. And since there's some resin right here, I'll go ahead and grab that too. It's pretty dark right now, so I'll see you guys back at the tree. Okay, we're back at the tree, but I wanted to take a moment to show you guys what your crafting inventory for your character is. Before I show you the difference on the workbench. This is your individual character crafting menu. And those are the things you can make. Now I'm going to switch over to my Builder's hammer. And again, we're going to go to structures. But this time, we're going to build a workbench. So I can show you guys the difference. We're going to extend the roof over that when we're finished. But. That's our workbench. And here are all of the things you can make with just Including what I mentioned earlier, which is our healing patches. But that doesn't have a recipe because we don't have the parts yet. But you can make the mandible pickaxe. And it gives you the damage stats for each weapon. What you see in red, you don't have the materials for. But what you have in green, you have the materials for. It's that simple. Yay, it's daylight now. So now, hopefully, 
we can complete our structure. door Whoops. Don't put the door on this side. Or it might be a window, I don't know yet. <laughs> this is the first time I've actually got to build something in the game. That might be the window. But that's okay. No, that's the window one. I did that on purpose because we need to finish the wall first. I want to do a wall with a window on that side of it. So we just get up a little bit closer. We can put it to the one we want. Again, use a bit of precision. Hopefully, to get it in the right place. Right there. And we can build it. We're going to move to the one with the door frame, like so. And put it, let's say, snap into place. Good job. Last but not least, hoping we have enough. Put in the door. I just realized something. Put it in upside down. We're gonna go ahead and dismantle the left trigger. And we're gonna dismantle the door frame again with the left trigger.
rotate. We are our way in, go out of the house. Before we close it off completely, I want to see if I can make a rope. As usual, my poor girl is either Dying of hunger, or who knows what. Now we put the other piece. not to leave any gaps. We have our roof. I'm going to go ahead and put one over here. And repair that. And that, dear friends, is how you build structures as well as cooking in small land to survive the wild. This has been Alchemy, and I'll catch y'all next time. Bye now!